Let's talk now about the next phase of the market. We got that retail sales number uh, out earlier today. We are thinking about the rest of 2020 setup and certainly what the economy in 2021 might look like. And joining us now for that conversation uh, is Gabriela Santos. She is the global market strategist over at J.P. Morgan Asset Management. Um, so, Gabriela, in your note, a line that certainly stood out to us, and, and we'd love to start here, is uh, the idea that the fog is clearing. We can talk about the second phase of the market recovery. So two parts, how would you characterize the first phase, which which I guess has now concluded? And, and what are you guys thinking about at JP uh, as we look towards um, the next couple of quarters here? Sure, so I think the first phase was very much focused on this pandemic virtual world and everything related to that theme, uh, be it e-commerce or the technology complex. Clearly that's already had a very strong run this year. I think the second phase is waiting for that catch up from everything else that's much more geared towards the real world. And I think the main fog that's starting to clear for us is what 2021 looks like with these announcements about a vaccine. No, it's not going to happen overnight, but we can start to see a timeline as we can start getting the population vaccinated over the first three quarters of 2021, we can start looking out over the next 12 months and we can start to see how the real economy comes back. And to me, what was really interesting this morning is that there was a very big difference between retail sales, which is starting to moderate, and industrial production, which is starting to pick up quite strongly. So that's already an interesting sign there of a handoff between what's been working so far this year and what still has a lot of catch up to do over the next few quarters. Gabriela, the, the chatter about stimulus has really died down. Um, yeah. Is it not happening? Is the market priced in that it is or isn't happening? It's sort of hard to assess at this point. I think the expectation is something will happen but not by the end of the year. I think it's clear that we're still uh, quite focused on politics in Capitol Hill, uh, and here specifically uh, with the two Georgia special elections coming up in, on January 5th. Um, so I think the expectation is for more fiscal support once we have the new Congress and the new president inaugurated in January. And I think that's okay, because we still have a very elevated savings rate um, it's still at 14% in September, which is higher than 8%, which was the norm uh, pre-pandemic. And that's just a sign of how generous the first massive CARES Act was, that it's still paying dividends today. So we can wait uh, another couple of months to get that little extra fiscal oomph. 